World Championship Wrestling! In the past, I've reviewed quite a few wrestling games, ranging from WCW, WWF slash WWE, Fire Pro Wrestling, Muscle, Tag Team Wrestling, and even an ECW game. And there are plenty more for me to cover out there. So I decided I wanted to review WCW World Championship Wrestling on the NES. This is actually the first WCW video game. Now, WCW World Championship Wrestling was developed by Nihon Basan Company and published by FCI and Pony Canyon Incorporated. The game was originally released on the NES in Japan back in 1989 and it had a release in North America in 1990. Now this game was actually titled Superstar Pro Wrestling in Japan and had a different lineup of wrestlers. As you can see the game is kind of in a side-scrolling view and then one minute it's in an isometric view and you can choose from a handful of different wrestlers such as Ric Flair, Sting, Lex Luger, Mike Rotunda, Road Warrior, Hawk and Animal, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, Kevin Sullivan, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Rick Steiner, Eddie Gilbert, and Michael P.S. Hayes. Tip Fedora. The final opponent in the game is a masked wrestler named WCW Master, and it's been said from his height and weight, which he's really tall and really big, it's Andre the Giant, but that's never been confirmed. It's also been said that this game is actually based on the NWA, as at the time WCW was part of the National Wrestling Alliance, and technically this is the only game based on the NWA, and that's pretty damn cool. Now let's go back to the developer real quick. They have published about 30 games, and a lot of them are in Japan, but they did develop Terra Force, Terra Cresta, Moon Cresta, which all three are part of a series, Magmax, Hyper Crazy Climber, which is part of the Crazy Climber series, and of course, F1 Circus and a handful of games in that series. This is just a handful of games out of the 30 or so that they've done, on top of the 30 that they've published. And some of these games I've played before. Now each wrestler has eight moves you can choose from, two Irish whip moves and a finisher. The moves that you can choose from are selectable and this is what differs a bit from a lot of the early wrestling games. You can actually pick these move sets before the match in a move select menu. The moves are assigned to the D-pad so you can actually only have four in a match, but there's more you can choose from. The Irish whip moves are done by initiating an Irish whip, which is throwing an opponent into the ropes and then they come back to you. And finally, the finisher, you can perform this while standing in the middle of the ring and can be done when the opponent has two squares remaining on his health meter. Of course, you can choose between two different types of matches, single and tag. Single matches go for five minutes, tag team matches go for ten. And of course, if you have a friend over, you can play two player and the matches go for 15 and 30 minutes. And I think that's really cool. Graphics for WCW World Championship Wrestling are not bad at all, especially for its time. And being on an 8-bit console, there's still some limitations here and there. But for what it is, the character sprites look great. They actually look like 8-bit renditions of the wrestlers. Even with the face paint on Hawk and Animal, you can tell that it's them. And even Sting looks kind of like Sting at the time. The movement looks great. The game is colorful. The camera angles are not horrible. I figured that would have been an issue, especially when you're out of the ring and it goes to like an isometric view. The game sometimes flickers here and there, but nothing that bothers me at all. The music for this game isn't bad at all. I like it. Not anything memorable, but it's well composed and fits the game. As for the sound effects, not much to really say about them other than they're fine. The kicking and punching noises are good, the crowd cheering is nice, and so on. One thing that this game does have is voiceover. Just a little bit. But like you heard in the beginning of the review, the title screen has it. Of course, the referee says things like rope break, and of course, when you pin the wrestler, he does count to three. Not only that, when your opponent wins, or if you win, you hear them cheer. And one thing I like about the voiceover work, it sounds very clear and it sounds good, not some muffled trash. When it comes to difficulty, well, as you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked. I will say this, I had more fun playing this game than some of the other NES wrestling games. I actually did get some punches and kicks and moves in, but this game can be somewhat tough. You really need to time your hits just right and be the first to strike or you're going to get beat. Probably one of the biggest issues in this game, though, is the hit detection. It's a little bit off. It seems that they can hit you, but when you try to hit them, it's a shit show. Or what I like to call a fuck shoot. And you're probably thinking, what the hell's a fuck shoot? Well, it's pretty much you don't know if you're going to hit the fucker or not. When it comes to the controls, they aren't bad. Could use some work. Of course, the layout is easy to understand. You move around with the D-pad, and when you lock up, you use the D-pad as a way to pull off a move that they're assigned to. Running against the ropes and getting back in the ring is easy. Could be a little better at responding on certain things. But at the end of the day, the game is playable.
WCW World Championship Wrestling on the NES is not a bad wrestling game. It's enjoyable, but tough at times. The gameplay is simple and fun. The graphics are nice for what it is. The wrestler sprites look good, and they don't look like some goofy-ass dog shit that were in some other wrestling games. The music is good. The sound effects are nice. The little voiceover work is cool. The controls are not bad. Could use some work. And like I said, the biggest flaw would be the hit detection. But this game is much better than wrestling games around the time. I would play this over WWF WrestleMania and all of those. If you want to check out WCW World Championship Wrestling for yourself, the game is 26% rare. Prices on eBay range from $0.99, cents, $11.99, $10.95, $2.15, $12.47, $9.99, $54.99 $54.99 54 dollars for a completed box, and there's a lot of prices in between, including one that is on there for about $24.97 that is an original circuit board in a new card. So I guess that is technically a half-assed repro, if you could call it that. If you can find the game around $5 to $10, that isn't bad at all, but anything over $17 to $20 is a bit ridiculous, I think. When it comes to other WCW wrestling games, there are quite a few out there. After WCW World Championship Wrestling, there was WCW Super Brawl Wrestling on the Super Nintendo, then WCW The Main Event on the Game Boy, then of course WCW vs. The World, WCW vs. NWO World Tour, WCW slash NWO Thunder, WCW slash NWO Revenge, WCW Nitro, which I've already done a review of that, it's actually the PC version, WCW Mayhem, and of course the last game, WCW Backstage Assault. At a later time, I will do a review of these games and probably some Let's Plays. Now, there were supposed to be a few other WCW games that ended up being canceled. One of them was supposed to be on the Game.com or Gamecom, whatever the hell you want to call that piece of shit. And then there was supposed to be a WCW Mayhem sequel. At one time, was titled WCW Mayhem 2. But it was canceled when WCW was sold to the WWE. So obviously, they shit-canned that idea. And it's kind of a damn shame. I think the WWE could have allowed them to finish the game since the WCW brand name was used in WWE for a little while, but it is understandable why they did what they did. Well, that is it for this review of WCW World Championship Wrestling. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. One.